In this video, you're going to learn how to aggregate test and quiz scores so you can learn more about what your students know. Okay, so you have a stack of tests or quizzes. Right now, you might only be grading these and then entering the scores into your gradebook. Chances are you'll probably go over the results with students, but there's one more step you might not be taking, something extra you can do really fast with those tests to make sure the results work even harder for you. It's called data aggregation any process in which information is expressed in summary form so it can be analyzed. Here's how it works. Let's say this is your quiz. As many teachers do, you make an answer key for it. Okay, so here's your first quiz to grade. It's Jamie's, and she has gotten one question wrong, number two. Now, instead of just flipping Jamie's test over and moving on to the next one, just go ahead and put a tally mark next to number two on your answer key and put another one next to item A, the one Jamie chose incorrectly. Now let's move on to the next quiz. Marcus got two questions wrong, number seven and number eight. Okay, let's record those, and we'll mark down the answers he chose instead. Done with that. Here's Holly's quiz. She also got number two wrong, and she marked the same wrong answer as Jamie. Interesting. Let's tally that over on our answer key. Once you've finished grading all of the quizzes, you have an aggregate, a summary of how each student answered every question that they got wrong. This will tell you which questions were the most problematic and deserve the most attention. You find that 12 out of your 25 students have gotten number two wrong, and every kid who got it wrong chose carrot. This may be a misconception, or it may just be a bad question. It probably confused the heck out of your kids. If it were me, I would just give that point back to everyone. Question number four got a lot of wrong answers too, but notice that students chose a variety of incorrect answers, so that doesn't necessarily mean this was a bad question. It might just mean you need to do more review of this concept with the students who got it wrong. However, because this was an all of the above question, it's possible that students simply didn't read the whole question carefully enough. When you go over the quiz results with students, find out how many students missed primarily because they just weren't careful. That information will help you decide how to proceed. For some questions, like this one, you may find that very few or no students got it wrong. This probably just means that students have mastered the concept. Turning all this information into a summary does take a few more minutes than simply marking your quizzes and filing them away. But considering the fine-tuned learning your students will get from it, and the sense of control you'll get knowing precisely where student misunderstandings are, the extra few minutes is worth it.